what is up guys today i'll be talking about the future plans of the brz right now it's already has a lot of mods on it unlike my wrx which i just made a video on this talking about all the things i'm going to be doing to this car as this one is completely stock but this one however i've had it for a year or so and it is not stock at all so obviously you can see i got them rpf ones on there they are sick i love these uh wheels a whole lot they are super lightweight and good for drifting and i got my wing on there because that adds so much horsepower when drifting as well especially that carbon fiber this looks so good on this car i love it and i got the spec d tail lights that look really good so overall i'm in love with the looks of my car and i have a full exhaust on it as well with onion clone headers from mxp with the mxp over pipe and I have a NVIDIA resonated front pipe and last but not least the MXP cat back on it so there's no cats this thing does spit flames which is pretty sick And now that I'm on E85, it spits even bigger flames, but I've not made a video on that yet, which I probably should. I have my open flash tablet with it right here, which I'm ready to put on some more tunes for this to make it even better. So as of right now, apparently with the tune I have and setup, it makes around 240, 250 horsepower, which is a great bump from 200 from factory. But now let's get on with my future plans. Cause now I just told you like a little rundown of what I had done to this car. But what I need really badly is coilovers because this thing has way too big of a gap in there. My shoe, a little floppy floppy in there, you know? I'm literally always the highest BRZ at car meets. Every single person who buys a BRZ FRS or 86, they always get coilovers or they get bigger wheels, which these wheels are still 17 inch because drifting, I just want them smaller, spin faster and all that. But literally everybody looks way more stancy than I do. And it helps out with drifting, having coilovers. So that's one major mod I really want to do. For the interior, a button mod that I want to do is obviously a Hydro e-brake, but I can't really find a good setup for this one. And I don't feel like messing with it just yet. So for now, I think I'm going to get the drift button. I just pop this out and you put a button in there. So when you pull up, you can let go and it drops immediately. So for drifting, you can easily just pull up and let go and keep on skidding when initiating and all that or transferring. So a drift button is a must have soon. Now on to my engine bay, you can see my aftermarket headers down there, but what I'm missing is an oil catch can. I definitely need that oil catch can like mounted up somewhere around there or something. So I don't have blow by going into the engine and causing failure. So I definitely will be getting that oil catch can. Probably next year, I'm gonna do a clutch on this car as the clutch usually goes out after 60,000 miles or 70,000, depending on how you drive, which you guys know I do drift it. So clutch is gonna be going out and I want to be removing this big old air box. There's so much room here. Like what's this? Like, there's nothing here besides this big air box. So this needs to be removed one day and a turbo to be placed right here. The turbo kit that I want to get is a JDL unequal length header turbo kit. I think it's like the B2 kit and it sounds amazing and looks really good. So I want that so bad, but obviously money restraints, I'm not gonna be doing that yet. I hope next year, I really do, but we will see what happens. So when I do that, I'll be doing spark plugs. I'll be doing the ACT clutch on this, stage two, and a couple other maintenance mods probably. And when I turbo it, I'm gonna have to front my intercooler, but I'm also gonna need a oil cooler. But Mishimoto has a oil cooler that you can put right next to the intercooler, and it looks really sick down there. So definitely will need a oil cooler for it. And that is pretty much it for the mods I'm gonna do on this car. Besides like cosmetic stuff, like maybe a front lip one day, I don't know. Those usually get destroyed though. And maybe a gold stripe going down and around here to match the gold wheels. And I have it for the rear as well, where you basically get a gold pen stripe to go on this little crevices. I don't know why that's there, but put a gold stripe all the way through that and down. I'm not too sure yet on that. And one day I want this car to be wrapped. I no longer want it black. Well, it might be black still, but it'll be like a huge design, like black and gold or something. Edgy, like corners and I don't even know. Like I just want... It looked like it's exploding, like shrapnel of black, gold, silver. Going down here, it gets bigger and bigger, like bigger blotches or whatever. I think that looked really sick with something on the side I don't know yet. Like some type of text. 
But guys, that will do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. That is the mods that I want to be getting done on this car. The main thing is coilovers though and the drift button. As I definitely want to do that before I make any more power on this car. But that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And peace.